coming at you from Affinity RV in Prescott, Arizona. Man, have we got a special treat for you. You folks love van tours. This is not actually a van, although it is on a van chassis, a transit. We're gonna tour Echo, one of the hottest things in the RV market space right now from Winnebago, the Echo. Let's go. the first time we are meeting. My name is Scott. Welcome to my channel, Go Small, Live Large, YouTube channel dedicated to the Class B RV lifestyle. This is the Winnebago Echo, debuted in January 2020 at the Tampa RV Super Show. So this is a Ford Transit cutaway chassis. Cutaway meaning there is no van. The chassis stops right here and then it's just a uh, I-beam with a, some four, four wheels at the back, not four wheel drive. All wheel drive though. This is built by Winnebago. Again, on the Ford Transit chassis, all wheel drive. This box is what makes this uh, rig pretty special. So showing you some of the things here, we've got awning style windows, awning style windows, an additional Batwing style awning it comes out this way. There is an awning on the other side. This is an optional cassette toilet, lots of storage, storage, Truma furnace vent, 30 amp. You know about that, right? This is kind of interesting. Love this, gravity drain fill, super important. This is kind of a Winnebago thing these days, using this uh, lever system to put in fresh water. This is city water. Um, this is actually kind of cool here. So this is a Truma vent heat, heat vent. Um, so this is actually, even though it's kind of exposed to the elements, is heated. So four seasons being very important on this van. So plumbing, winterization, and again, this is a pump and things like that. So really cool, really well done. This is the uh, gray tank drain. It actually feeds through this. Let me get this open for you. So you can see the, uh, hello. <laughs> so that uh, sewer hose goes through there because it's kind of a weird connection point. You can see that, right? Um, so I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. Um, I'd rather have it come out this way. Um, since you have to open the door anyway, it can make sense, right? And again, it has a cassette toilet, which I personally am not a big fan of. It's about a six gallon cassette toilet. That's where that, all that lives behind the, uh, in a very way, it, it kind of compresses as it closes. This is the storage unit. We'll show you that from the other side. Light, which is cool. This is also accessible from the back, which is pretty amazing. Uh, Nice piston, keep this open. Uh, so this was just at an RV show, that's why this stuff is in here, but plenty of room in here for bikes, tables, chairs, all your stuff. And what makes it pretty cool is it's heated. Well, that's cooled and it's heated. There's our trim event right there. Power, lights, power, lights. And these things, you can bungee cord things to this or strap it, clip it, whatever, uh, making these uh, available spaces for storage, really cool. And it's got the uh, the track thing up here and over here. So this is kind of made for your gear closet is what I'm going to call that. Ladder, <clears throat> AC, TV antenna, has a hitch, pretty cool. So you can drag something behind you. Um, this is the propane. And if you're a fan of propane, you're going to love the fact you have two standard propane canisters that you can rip or replace at, at Blue Rhino anywhere, right? Or Amerigas. Um, it also has kind of a <clears throat> cool thing here, which is propane for your grill or your campfire. And with this much propane on board, that would be pretty cool. Truma Furnace, uh, AquaGo, so instant hot water, great. Outlets, cool. Cable TV, 12 volt, okay. Uh, and this is, uh, this is where your generator would go or your lithium energy pack or a kitchen. Yes, there's an outdoor kitchen option here where your cooler would slide out and a propane stove and a little bit of a sink. So you have an outdoor kitchen. Here's your uh, water connection. Again, heated. Looking up above, we have a light and this is a standard awning that would run out this way, illuminated.
we open the door, the stairs pop out. So this is kind of interesting here. It's got kind of a, a critter proof, not only bugs, but maybe raccoons or something. So it's a really strong, it's hard to see that, see the, um, the mesh behind the bug screen to keep critters out. I'm not sure it's bear proof, but certainly keep a raccoon out. Grab handle, nice. Open space, cool. Pretty interesting um, way they've done the cab here. So it looks like you have a DVD player here, some stretchy storage space, TV, sound bar, light. Over here is again storage space. This curtain here snaps across this area. Now, if the seats are turned around, I guess you can kind of fold the uh, blanket thermal brake around the, the seats as they're spun around. So this could be uh, usable space as these seats do spin around. Table, permanent, kinda. So it rises up and clicks into place. Pretty sturdy, pretty good sized. It's probably, I don't know, three feet, just under. Um, and then the way you collapse it is you kind of give this a little push and then it collapses onto itself. It's got a magnet to kind of hold it against the wall, but I'm pretty sure that's going to rattle as you're running around. Not a fan of that part. Four point seat belts. This is kind of the thing lately. The irony is you can one, two, three, four travel people, but you can only sleep two unless everybody's piling in the big bed in the back. Continuing in the great room is this also thing that I'm not a, a giant fan of is you open the door, magnetically clicks to the ceiling, very cavernous space, which is great. This is so that it doesn't warp, I'm guessing, as you fill the space up. Huge, huge cabinet. And then to close it, again, this, this I just don't know about that. Um, and then positive lock, which is great. Some storage space here, you could probably do something with that. That'd be cool. Again, the windows, really, really nice. Open up. And those are just beautiful windows. Very much like the Coachman Nova. Huge fan of these because you can have them open and the breeze can come in, even if it's raining and not windy. Um, and these slide up and down like this. So privacy, bug screen, and just, again, huge open windows. Rounding out the great room up front, here's a lagoon table mount. So you can have seats spun around, somebody at this table, somebody at that table. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just curious what you're liking about this rig so far. Um, would this permanent table work for me? I think so. I would leave it up so that's always available. Um, I can put my stuff in the corner here, my decorations, my plants. Um, it's not as big as my Travato table, but it's, it feels really solid. And it's not a lagoon table, which you sort of have to get out of the way. And if I do want to get this out of the way, I simply collapse it. So I'm actually kind of liking this table arrangement. Um, now, because it's short, probably because of the distance from the floor, uh, the person here, you're kind of working this way, not awesome. So you'd actually be working in this seating position most of the time. I like my Travato table and bench seat because I can move around and use the table wherever, uh, whatever seating position I want to use. Give a thumb up if you're enjoying this at all and uh, comment below. What do you think about this table and seating arrangement? Carry four, sleep two, no extra bed unless you're doing the pop top, which is an option. I think it's about $7,000 for a pop top. It's really tall inside of this rig. Uh, let me show you that. All right, talking about uh, ceiling height. So I'm 5'10", with cowboy boots 5'11", and I have, geez, I don't know, 14, 15, 16 inches of headroom. Um, I think Don said that the clearance in here is 6'8", which is huge, right? Let's take a look at the galley. So your switches are right here. Awning, awning, uh, step. You can lock it on or off. Coach battery. And these are going to be your lights, which this is not functioning right now because it's... Uh, um, unplugged, I'll say. Um, cabinetry. I love the color scheme. It's kind of this burnt rust. Um, really like that. Very attractive. 
um, drawers, kind of a Winnebago thing. I would prefer three large drawers versus these things. <clears throat> and <clears throat> you can see there's quite a bit of space in here, which is pretty awesome. Not Technoform, but I think these are Winnebago industry built cabinetry. Not Technoform, residential style faucet, nice sink, cutting board, propane, by Suburban, interesting. Um, so that's kind of cool. Not Dometic, I'd prefer that myself. Um, cabinetry up here, again, magnetically attached. So one-handed, like I am now holding the camera, you can actually function with this, but, and it is out of your way, but I don't know. What are your thoughts on this magnet situation? I, pre I probably would prefer hinges, microwave, standard microwave, not convection. Over here, we got a little bit of storage, horizontal space, very valuable in an RV. And this, it has shelf build outs, uh, which is pretty awesome. So that's the great room and the galley. And if you're not familiar with the Echo, wait until you see the bathroom. This is the coolest spot in the rig. Let me show you the bathroom. This is amazing. Why is it amazing? Because it transforms. Right now, it is a shower. And I, but what makes this space so magic is this. You ready? Yes. Look at that. Sink. A real sink. Awesome. Real faucet. Real mirror, cassette toilet, again, not a giant fan of these, um, and it twists so you can sit sideways, do your business, and it goes into the tank that we saw outside, which slides out from the exterior. Toilet paper holder, there's power. Love the window in a bathroom, so cool. And whoops, and this is uh, storage. So love this idea of a transformer bathroom. What are your thoughts? So now you're not showering next to your toilet. At least you're not seeing it. So I'll give you some sense of space in here. Um, Good-ish elbow room. Good-ish elbow room. Tons of ceiling height, right? Um, got a light. The, the issue I have is this. All the space kind of goes away. And now you're dealing with a, a shower curtain, which I don't like. And that's what I really like about my uh, Travato. G bathroom is it no shower curtains necessary everything get, can get wet and I clean things after I've showered um, so I love this idea though this transformer bathroom we've seen the European models where they've done this in a in a essentially a ProMaster chassis so it can be done Winnebago's experimenting I really like that this is indicative of ducted air conditioning so AC comes out of the vents right max air fan cool uh, and then these are speakers, lights, speakers, lights. So the fridge situation, this is a nor, nor cold and pretty interesting fridge. So freezer space up here, which is probably good for, I don't know, weekending or something. But if you want ice, um, a seven pound bag of ice would not fit in this space so you're kind of using ice or you're freezing food one or the other in my opinion um, all this is freezer space or refrigerator space this is kind of cool and I'm um, showing here no half gallons go here like in my fridge but uh, practical huge refrigeration space this is cool And it looks like it runs off, I'm guessing, um, 
12 volt compressor because I don't see any propane flame thing up there. So very nice. Let's move into the bedroom. In the bedroom, there's a little bit of a step up, another step to get up into bed. So two twin beds, they're about six feet long. And you can have this kind of middle piece as another cushion, or you can get it out altogether. And that becomes your nightstand, I suppose. Um, it does have the, the Feroli sleep system, which we can see here, which I love mine. It gives a little um, extra, like a, like a box spring feel and gives some air underneath so that it breathes. And if you pull the, the system out, apparently there's a bar that goes here. So that cushion go here, this cushion goes here. Ugh like that, so this entire space can be one huge bed. Some people love that, some people love the, the twins, and then this lets you get out in the middle of the night without waking up your partner, um, and keep spouses happy. So this is kind of a, a thing these days of separate beds. The build quality seems to be pretty good um, overall. Um, these again are the huge windows. Can you imagine watching the full moon transverse the night sky, laying in bed, I can see that for sure. Huge window on that side. Uh, the cabinets here are kind of interesting. Um, they're really deep, but strangely, unless you're using the nightstand here to put bottles of water or your iPad, something like that, there's really no place to store it unless you're getting up to put it in here. Power, USB, 110 volt, reading lights, AC, vents. AC and then lights. So I'm kind of curious what you think about this rig. Um, is it a van? On a van chassis, but it definitely doesn't feel like a van. Uh, it feels like a class. B plus, C minus, however you want to say it. Um, seems to me you're dragging a lot of extra space for the storage outside, this bed situation. You're not gaining anything, in my opinion, uh, in the great room. And the galley is pretty standard. I would say my Travato galley is as efficient as this. Bathroom, super cool. Um, but if you're shopping for a van, I'm not sure that this would meet your needs because of the size, the conspicuousness of it. So I'm curious about your thoughts. Um, is this on your list? Uh, it's very well insulated. Um, we'll show you the door thickness here in just a second, but um, this definitely is a four season rig. It's got one kind of a gotcha for going off-roading and that's the ground clearance. One great benefit to a rig of this size is you have so much storage <clears throat> to bring all your stuff. So this kind of doubles as a closed closet. You can access it from this panel here that opens out. So this would wear your wardrobe. One on each side, which is pretty nice. Um, drawer slides out here. Storage, and this um, is storage underneath um, as well. Uh, kind of a privacy um, security cover, I would call that. Um, pretty cool way to store stuff in under your bed. Again, same deal over here and another cabinet here, which is pretty nice, really huge. That's just one of the benefits of a rig of this size is how much additional storage there is. Bedroom, really, really nice. Perfect for two people. Um, just love these windows, right? Terma thermostat. There's the GE thermostat for the um, air conditioning, interesting. Privacy curtain, so somebody can be sleeping, somebody can be working. lighting up above the cabinetry as indicated by this space and it goes all the way around. So I'm thinking that's mood lighting. So looking outside, you can see how thick this door is. It's at least two inches. Um, it's a really solid close. And if we look here again, you can see how thick the doors are, which would indicate uh, insulation. You can see that? So I'd say it's at least um, inch and a half. Uh, molded fiberglass insulated uh, that gives this its four season capability. But let me show you this one thing that is kind of a curiosity to me. 
and that would be the ground clearance. You have an all-wheel drive vehicle, kind of ruggedized for off-road, but you have really low ground clearance here. I'm gonna say that's about six inches. Uh, you can see that. This is the lowest point of the rig that I can see. And to me, that is, you know, less than my Travato probably. So that to me is a curiosity. Um, I think this needs to be lifted to really get out into the mountains. So what do you think of this rig? Kind of interesting. It's really kind of uh, taken, them, uh, taken off with Winnebago. I think they have a home run on their hands here. Stay to the very end. We're gonna put all the specs, the um, tank sizes, all that business uh, from their website. Um, MSRP, $173,000 for this rig. What do you think of that? So hope you enjoyed that tour of an Echo by Winnebago out now uh, and available. Um, 173 grand for this rig, pretty interesting rig, right? Uh, covers a lot of bases. Um, would it work for me? No, because I like a van. And that's what we do here on Go Small, Live Large, is we share together, we learn together, and then you decide what's the best way to roll in your rig. Um, comment below, subscribe. If you like van tours, if you like to learn more places to go in your van, you don't want to miss a single video. So subscribe to the channel, comment below, give it a thumb up. Echo. So I just want to thank um, Affinity RV here in Prescott, Arizona, and Don. Thank you so much for uh, giving us access to this amazing vehicle, Echo. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. I'm Don Malcolm from Affinity RV here in Prescott, Arizona. Sunny Prescott, Arizona, I might add. And uh, happy to have Scott with us today. Uh, pricing, availability, things like that. How would they find out about you? Sure. Um, I can be reached at AffinityRV.com, and I look forward to talking to you. These are available for order, everything we're talking about today. Yeah, so, it's really amazing. Yeah. And we'll put that information down below so people can check that out. Awesome. Don, thank you. Thank you.